Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the wind pressure on the roof. Now the pressure formula is the exact same we've been working with and once again the only difference is the C uh, lowercase p comma e value. So all we're going to do is find that external pressure coefficient for the roof. Now all the tables we require are table 5.3. Now you'll see in the standard there's three tables for the roof. So for roofs there's table 5.3a on page 32. And flipping over the page on page 33, 5.3b and 5.3c, they're all for roofs. Now, we need to work out which table we're going to be working out first. So if we go to the first table, you can see that it's for upward slopes and downward slopes when alpha is less than 10 degrees and for our gable roofs. So if I just draw a quick, pic quick picture of our um, structure, we have an upward slope, so we could be in this table, but our alpha, the, um, the slope of the roof, we found in previous videos to be 14 degrees, okay? So that's greater than 10 degrees, so it doesn't fall into this category here. So we've got to flip over the page, and if we look at table 5.3b, we've got roofs, external pressure coefficient, CPE, for rectangular enclosed roofs, upward slope U, and alpha greater than 10 degrees. So we have an upward slope, and our alpha is greater than 10 degrees. So we're going to be working in this table over here. Let's go look at what we need to work out CPE. So we have upward slope, alpha greater than 10 degrees, so that's good. We need to work out this ratio H on D, and then we need to know our roof pitch. And you can see we're gonna get different values of CPE, all right? Now, what I want you to realize is, let's just first work, first work out H on D. Now, H on D is just the height, average height, so the average of five and three was four meters, divided by D. D was the length of the side wall. So we spoke about this in the previous video by looking at this figure over here. You can see in all these figures, D is the length of the sidewall. The wind's hitting there. This is the sidewall, so that's D in all the cases. Okay, so the length of our sidewall was 8 meters, so 4 on 8. We have an H on D of 4 on 8 of 0.5. All right, so this means that we are 0.5 for H on D. Now, our roof pitch is 14 degrees, so there's 10 and 15. And it says for intermediate values, we're going to have to use linear interpolation.